All right. I want to have a great time last weekend. I just wanted to watch a horror movie that would just maybe, you know, be a fun slasher film. And I completely got something different. Something that I was not expecting. Um, the movie being Jack Ketchum's The Girl Next Door. Now, I've heard a lot of stuff about Jack Ketchum. About he can be a sick guy. You know, one of those controversial writers. Now, I was thinking, heck, this could be just a good, gory, stupid time, you know. I mean... Isn't that how most horror is anyways? Yeah, I was wrong about that. I mean, everything was just so disturbing when I saw it. It, I, I saw it with an open mind thinking, and it was it was going all right, but it, it, everything it did just kept on adding to the tension that I was already making. I was, it made me freak out a lot. I mean, it was about these. It's about this girl named Meg and her sister Susan who move in because um their parents died in a car crash I believe and the person they move into is um their aunt Ruth who is just an extremely crazy person just just like ah, you know anyway and um the main character of the movie uh, is this kid named David I think his name is David and um, when Meg moves in the older sister the um, it just he 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 falls in love with her but the thing is is that you know Aunt Ruth is a crazy person who apparently doesn't like her that much you know, either way it doesn't matter because you know David just like she, she's like mm, yeah but either way anyway Aunt Ruth on the other hand is this one is this lady who is like on this, who lives in this neighborhood and she seems to be like the bad influence of for all the kids I mean she will they all come to her for a reason I guess because, you know, she offers them, you know, like, you know, alcohol and cigarettes. Which I don't know how you offer, like, a five-year-old alcohol and cigarettes. And she seems to be constantly on these, like, women rants about how they're, like, the weaker species and stuff. And, um, I'm not going to try and tell too much of it, but the part where everything got worse was when, um, her three sons were tickling Meg. And she she decided to, you know, she was, she was having fun and stuff. And then out of nowhere, she's like, all right, stop, all right, stop. And then she's like... BAM! Stop! You know, and, you know, Aunt Ruth didn't take too kindly to that. So, yeah, obviously, we saw some messed up things. But the thing that was messed up was, she didn't hit Meg, she hit her sister, who has polio. Now, that, really, that was just, and she, you know, just because of that one part, I knew this movie was going to get a little bit harder to watch. And it did because, and then Meg started, you know, defending herself and stuff. And um, in the end, through all the stuff, she ends up something like this. And this is all happening while these evil kids are just watching, and they're participating in some of these horrible, atrocious acts that I just don't want to talk about. They're just—it's <laughs> so messed up. And um, it just every time I saw it, I, every time I see something, they would just be like. I'd be speechless. I'm like, ah, that's 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 wrong. That's really messed up, you know. Now, all in all, it's a really good movie. The only problem I have is with the main kid himself, David. He's not really a likable character, but that's the only problem I have. With the film is that he is. I think he's like the biggest idiot. The whole thing too, because I don't know why. I could just not be understanding it completely. I might not have listened to the whole thing, you know, with great attention, with great detail. But never once does he call the cops, like, you know, like, he tries to get their attention, but just, like, I believe just once. And after that, it's like he gives up until the end. I don't know why. If it was a, I'm pretty sure a regular kid will constantly call the cops, and they would probably eventually find out. This guy took too, too long. I don't know what his deal was, but um, the woman that played Aunt Ruth was, uh, did a great job, too. She was, um, she was creepy, she was crazy, but she acted normal. She, act, she didn't act like one of those crazy kooky people you see, you know, where you know she's a bad guy. She acted like just a plain hard person, just just cold, really cold. And the kids who did these atrocious things to the, you know, Meg, you know, while her sister was watching and stuff, it's just, that just adds to the more disturbing parts. I mean, this movie really got to me plenty of times. Just made me sickened. I mean, all these other movies that have been coming out, like, you know, Last House on the Left, Wolf Creek, and, and I Spit on Your Grave. They've got nothing compared to this film. I can tell you that much. Mind you, I like Last House on the Left and Wolf Creek. 
but um they just don't they don't disturb you like it like you know Jack Ketchum is a girl next door does and that's why I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 just because it's almost perfect almost perfect some things I question about what you know people's motives you know people's motives but other than that it was it was a great movie and I recommend it to all